Coming up next, I'm going to unveil a tool that will help you find what you were born to do. And then people are quitting jobs and making more money. We'll update you on that and Momentum Monday. And, of course, we're going to take your calls. And it all starts right now. All right, welcome to the Ken Coleman Show. Thrilled to have you with us. We're coming to you live from our Ramsey Solutions studios in Nashville. And you joined a conversation about you, specifically your purpose. And we're going to look at your professional purpose. You were created to fill a unique role. You were needed. You must do it. Now, we certainly understand that as as it pertains to relationships. There's a role you fill in your relational life, but there's also a role you're supposed to fill in your professional life. You know it. Deep down, you may not know what it is. I'll give you that, but that's why I'm here to help. But you know there's more to life than just a J-O-B, a nine-to-fiver that, well, takes care of the bills and maybe we can save up and make some memories. There's so much more there. You know you were created to contribute. And so that's what we talk about here. 844-747-2577 is the phone number. There are basically three groups of people. You either have no idea or not quite sure what you're supposed to do in your professional life. You know, but you don't know how to get there. And then the third group is you know what it is. You know how to get there, but fear, finances, family, maybe holding you back. Maybe even past failure. Maybe some shame. And so I want to help all of you get clear, get reunited with that clarity, come up with the plan to actually make the climb. And we're going to do that through our seven stages that will lead you to doing what you were born to do. Get clear, get qualified, get connected, get started, get promoted, get the dream job, give yourself away. Those are the seven stages right there. Today, we're going to talk about stage one, getting clear. Now, if you've been listening to this program for any amount of time, you've heard me walk somebody through clarity, the getting clear process, stage one of my seven stages, all right? Talent, passion, and mission. Those are your indicators. Think of them as a dashboard, okay? A personal dashboard. Talent, I was born with talent. You were born with talent. Passion, I was born with passion. You were born with passion. Mission, we were all born with a sense of mission. Talent is what you do best. Think of hard skills, even character traits, and then people skills. Then let's look at passion. This is work you love. You think about this task or a role, you get juiced. When you're in the middle of it, you're so juiced and so in the zone. It's called flow. And at times seems to stand still. Nothing else is around. That's high emotion and high devotion. And then mission, these are the results of your work that matter deeply to you. Not all the results of our work matter deeply to us, but there are results that we all can produce and create through our work that set our souls on fire because of the deep connection to our values. So I'm excited to tell you that after walking through this process, talent, passion, and mission in one-on-one coaching, certainly on this program, I've been able to help thousands of people get clear. Because when you look at your purpose, you could say, I was created to use what I do best, talent, to do work I love, passion, to produce results that matter to me, mission. That's purpose. And professional purpose is achieved when we are in the workplace using our talents, what we do best, to perform work we love, passion, to produce results that matter to us, mission. So I've walked people through it. But for two years, we've been working behind the scenes, and I've been talking about it on the show. But I, I want to make sure you understand, we have created the Get Clear Career Assessment. There are many, many career assessments out there, um, and, and, and they all do uh, a fairly good job of helping you with some self-awareness. But we believe that this resource, the Get Clear Career Assessment, takes you further than any other career assessment because of its complete focus on you all sides really a three point of view resource right talent you're going to get a detailed report on what you do best there are other assessments that have done that but they stop there we're going to actually help you identify work you love detail it out for you and give you a nice report so you could see it oh i do love this work 
maybe you've never been able to put language around it or summarize it. We do that with this assessment. But we're not done with just passion and what work you love, identifying the type of work you love. We throw in the next and last piece that is honestly the most important, and that's the missional results. What missional results? What results motivate you? See, motivation comes from knowing your motive. And ultimately, what are the results I want to produce and put to work each day? What results do I want to contribute? There are six missional drivers. There are 14 talents, excuse me, passions, type of work. And then there are 12 universal talents. I've summarized them. And so you're going to get a report on all 12. You'll see where you stand, but we're going to give you a detailed report on your top three talents, your top three passions, and your primary mission results. So you'll get one of those. But we'll still show you where you score on all the others. And this is illuminating. It's a self-awareness tool. Now, Ken, is your assessment perfect? No, it's impossible to be perfect. Is it really, really good and accurate? Yes. Because even if you see, well, I think maybe I should have scored a little higher on this one, that's fine because you're going to see where you score on all of them anyway. But go get feedback because what you think may be true may not be fully true. It helps us see ourselves as the world sees us, as others see us, and it removes blind spots spots. Also, it's going to give you tremendous confidence. You go, oh, I could see now. I felt this before, but now I know. And this, all of this clarity that you get from the Get Clear Career Assessment, it gives you clarity and confidence and courage. Think about it. When I'm really clear, oh, these are the top skills that I have. I'm clear on this. Now I'm confident in those skills. These are the the things that I'm passionate about doing. So now I'm confident that I should be doing this kind of stuff. And this is the driving result inside of me. This is the value that I want to promote. This is the value I want to create more of. This is the value I want to deliver. <gasps> so much clarity and confidence to do that kind of work. And here's the deal. That clarity and confidence come together to give you courage to stay on the path when failure comes because it's going to and you start to doubt yourself. I don't know if I got the talent. Wait a second. Let me go back. What does my get clear career assessment tell me about myself? I got this all validated by people who know me very, very well. I am not delusional. I'm normal. I've got some doubt because something has come my way and thrown doubt my way. That's why this tool is so vitally important. Now, how does it affect you who watch the show? Look, if you're feeling like you're not very clear, get the get clear career assessment at KenColeman.com and take it. Then call in the show and go, Ken, I got my results right here in front of me. This is what I've dreamed of. We've already had several calls last week that came in and it's like, boom, okay. Now we've got our results in front of us. Where do we go next? And this is what the assessment does. And I can help you on the show. After you get your report on your top talents, your top passion and your primary mission, guess what happens? We fill out a purpose statement for you. So you've got this beautiful sentence. I was created to use what I do best blank, 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 to do work I love, blank, 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 to drive results that matter to me, blank, right? Talent, passion, mission. Lays it out very clearly. You've got yourself a purpose statement that you can now apply to all professional journeys. Then we go another step and we give you suggestions that you can say, all right, this one fits, circle that one, this one doesn't, X that one out. We call it professional possibilities. Get you further down. You go, oh, now I can explore and I can see. I can clarify and verify as Ken teaches. So you can call the show with those results, all of it, and talk through it. We can fast forward your steps. So super excited about it. Here's what you can do. You can get it by itself. It's a $30 assessment. And by the way, 30 bucks for this, this kind of clarity and confidence and courage, it's worth three times the amount. You can get it by itself, the Get Clear Career Assessment at KenColeman.com. Been working on this for two years to be able to, everybody can't listen to me and everybody can't call. So I had to have something. I need something that you can take and that you can also provide. I've had so many spouses call. How, how can I help my husband or my wife? Get them the assessment, have them take it, sit down with them, game changing. Try it. 
If it doesn't work for you, we'll give you your money back. Go to KenColeman.com, and you can get it by itself for $30. Now, if you want to then come up with the path up the mountain, the brand new book that is available for pre-sale from Paycheck to Purpose is also available. And right now, the hottest thing going is the bundle, where you get the assessment basically for 10 bucks and the book from Paycheck to Purpose for 20 It's an incredible bundle because you need the book to get you up the mountain once you've identified the mountain through the assessor. So we've got a bundle at KenColeman.com, or you can get the assessment by itself. But either way, you need to get the tool. I, I think it's silly right now to pay 30 bucks for just the assessment when you can get it for 10 bucks, And the other 20 for 30 bucks. you're going to get my book from Paycheck to Purpose, which unveils the seven stages and walks you through them, practically speaking. So there you go. Uh, the new book is From Paycheck to Purpose, The Clear Path to Doing Work You Love. So uh, it's not a commercial. This is a resource that me and the team have worked on for over two years to be able to cut through the noise, cut through the confusion to give people clarity, confidence, and courage to step out and be who they were born to be. So go get it, KenColeman.com. All right, let's get to the phones, 844-747-2577, 844-747-2577. Sandy Springs, Georgia is where we started off. Daniel joins us on the line. Daniel, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thank you for taking my call. You bet. Uh, I just ordered your book from Paycheck to Purpose and looking forward to reading it. Awesome. Thank you, um, brother. Yes. So my question to you today is uh, I'm in the beginning stage of Get Clear of uh -huh. Finding My Purpose. Yep. And um, I, I just need some guidance and clarity as to which direction to go, which uh, career to pursue. I have several uh, ideas in mind, but I, I still need that uh that push or that light. <laughs> okay. Give me the uh, ideas that are, are, are most exciting to you or you have the most confidence in these ideas of direction. Awesome. So, yeah. So uh, when I'm thinking of confidence, I'm thinking of uh, uh, something that I can see an end result. I can impact somebody. So one would be um, I, uh, being a financial advisor. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I took the, uh, the financial coach master training and I really, really found my my like my juice so to speak there we or, go Good. um so that would be on my top of my list and the second one would be um uh since i'm currently working in manufacturing i'm kind of uh been kind of ideas coming out my mind is the supply chain working in supply lo learning the logistical side of things and how things work and working with different side of er like uh, systems to uh to get uh, you know to to impact a customer and the third would be uh, would be probably working in technology, um, and so yeah, I just kind of don't what's know the third what, what's the third one? Uh, being working in like a, in technology as a, like a, de a software developer or using different tools or, or languages to create an end result. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do something here because I was just talking about the assessment that we built, which by the way, you need to take it. Uh, and I'm going to give it to you as my gift today, the Get Clear Career Assessment. So I'm going to give that to you, and that's going to be awesome for you. That, that, that will help verify what we're going to do right here on the air. Um, all right. So underneath the assessment, when we, when we were walking through it and I was developing it based on what I teach, that you use what you do best talent to do work you love passion to produce results that matter to you deeply, that's mission. So underneath all of that, there's basically four areas of work, okay, that you could just take every type of work in the world and you could kind of put them into four categories. Idea work, people work, process work, things work. Make sense? Does that make sense yeah. to you? Okay. Yeah. Things would be I'm working with things, so much more uh, tactile, mechanical in nature, building, you know, you're, you're working with things. So if you look at those four areas, ideas, people, processes, and things, all right, and then you go, okay, these are the areas. So it comes down to this. You're going to have talent, and and you have to ask yourself, is my talent in the area, am I good at idea things? Am I good at people things? Am I good at process things? Am, am I good at working with things? So am I good at working with ideas? Am I good at working with people? Am I good at working with processes? Am I, get, am I good at working with things? And then you flip it to passion. Do I love working with ideas? Do I love working with people? Do I love working with processes? Do I love working with things? And and it's a really, really simplifying. Now, we do all this for you underneath underneath all the questions 
in the assessment. But when you lay out three ideas to me, financial advisor, supply chain logistics, and developer, software developer, there's a pattern there with these ideas. But when you look at those um, and I say, okay, are you best at working with ideas? Do you love working with ideas? Or are you best at working with people? Do you love working with people? Same thing with processes and things. So what do you think? What do you think when I break it down that way? Uh, well, I think uh, that I'm I'm really good with um, like with working with things to give an end result, uh, and also I'm good with people, right? Uh, maybe like sort of instructing or giving some guidance is my knowledge. Right. Uh, so you're to, good to, at so you got talent in the area of people and process, which is great. Yes. That's great. So who do you? But what do you? What kind of work do you love the most? People work or process work? I would say people work uh, more or less just to develop that in a per personal or relationship bonding and um, that sort of thing. Okay. So here's what I think. So the fact that you've got talents in the area of people and process. Okay. I would say to you that I think you need to be in the business of teaching people processes that change their life. Does that make sense? Yes. I'm super simplifying this right now. But that's the game changer for you because you because now you've got both things working for you. OK, so tell you where I'm different. So I'm people and ideas. Right. So that's why I create content that's in the idea space that will help people. And I like working with people, but I deliver and I help people more on the content side than the process side. But these are the nuances between the human beings and everybody's a little different. So if I look at what I just said, and you went, yep, that works for me. Uh, financial advisor makes the most sense. Why? Because it's people work. You're good at it and you love it. Yes or no? Yes. But it's also process work, right? Teaching them yeah. process uh, and, and working through their financial plans and working through investment strategies. Uh, and you're good at process work and you love process work. Yes or no? Yes. So of the three, certainly that one jumps out the most. However, if you are leading a team of people in the supply chain logistics world, therein also is an opportunity for you to, because you're a leader, a leader's number one role is the people, right? Even though yeah. you may be leading a team of logistics and supply chain pros, it's still people related, but it's also process related. So I go ding, ding, ding on number two. And then in the developer side, I mean, that's a process type thing. And as long as it's got a good amount of people interaction and maybe you move up into a leadership role one day and you're leading developers, that could work as well. I think one and two make the most sense based on what we're coming up with. But I also want you to take my new assessment. I'm going to give it to you for free. OK, and I want you to take it. and Let's see if your talent, passion and mission align towards what we just said. Any thoughts awesome. or questions? No, primarily just uh like just mentioned here, uh, I think I'm more of a, a people and process. So, um, yeah, I think the financial advisor, you know, would I think would, would suit best with my skills I and think talents. So, too. so don't overthink it. But I'm going to give you the extra unbelievable nail in the coffin confirmation by giving you our brand new Get Clear Career Assessment. Daniel, you get to take it for free. Awesome. Hang on the line. Awesome. Yeah, brother. It's going to fill out a purpose statement for you. And, and, um, uh, and it's going to be a game changer. But here's what I just did there. I'm telling the team this. I don't know if I've ever shared with you what I just did. But those, when you look at ideas, people, processes, and things, those are the four categories of work. And then you can look at your talent and go, does it match up? Well, that's the underneath part of the assessment that we built. And so that's a game changer, folks. You don't overthink it. It's like, look, this is the general area here of talent. Uh, and passion. So fun stuff there to get that call. Let's keep going. Jacob's up next in Lansing, Michigan. Jacob, you're on the Ken Coleman show. Morning, Mr. Coleman. How you doing? I'm living the dream, Jacob. What about you? I'm in a bit of a rut. All right. All right. Well, that's okay. I've been there too, man. Let me tell you, I am a world-class rut builder, but uh, the good news is I know how to get out of it. So let's see if we can help you. What's up? So I got let go in I'm July. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. 
But preceding that, I had already been considering a career change. So oh, it's, good. I so it was a kick out of the nest. A little, yeah, a little kick in the high knee from <laughs> up above to good. send me in the right direction. Good, good, good. But good. after that kick, I landed, and I didn't start moving. Uh-oh. What does that um, mean? I've had a bunch of different false starts oh, okay. trying to go into this career or that. Um I get going and I start learning about it and realize that I don't like it and okay. false start again, false start again. And I guess I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. My standards aren't terribly low. I just want to provide for my little family. But yeah. yeah. Well, it sounds like to me that you're either on the right track and you're not going about it the right way. Uh, or maybe you're quitting too soon. I don't know. Uh, or you're trying some things and there's, there's a whole lot of stuff out in the self-help space where people go, just go explore and, and just experiment. Well, that's half the equation. We got to know a general direction so that we know we're still headed in the right direction. Right. Yeah. Um, and then, then the ex exploration is absolutely spot on advice. But if we don't, have some direction based on what I've just been teaching about this morning, and we just walked through with with uh, uh, Daniel. So we gotta we gotta go. Okay, talent, passion, mission. What does it tell us? So uh, you've been listening long enough to call me and trust me. What do you know about your talent, passion, and mission? Uh, so talent wise, I love working with my hands. Mm -hmm. I've got a great grasp on technology and electronics and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my passion might be people. It's I, the job that let me go was a customer service position. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I got burnt out on the job or the people. Uh, my mission is just to provide for my fam little family. No, I, I appreciate that, but 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 I'm going to give you some new stuff here. So, so um, your your mission is 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 based on the results that you want to put out in the workplace. All right, I, your personal mission is of course to provide, but what's that professional purposeful mission for you? Um, and I, I think I know the answer, but let's back into this. So talent, what, if you think about ideas, people, processes, and things, all right, this is kind of categories. What specific talent do you have? Top two or three things I on your own. Would put it in the things space. Uh, it's like I said, I'm just clever with technology mm -hmm. and enjoy working with my hands. Okay, good. So are we talking about fixing and building, constructing, that kind of stuff? Is it technical in nature or is it also um, maybe carpentry or fixing engines, mechanical, technical, physical? What are we talking about? Uh, not really sure. It's I Sure you are. Jack of all trades no, as far as Yeah, but I mean are you are you you're good at both fixing something and also could you build a cabinet or could you build a some type of a, a carpentry woodworking type structure? I mean no, no, I couldn't build fix, sure, build no. Okay, good. This is you see the distinction here? Yeah. So are you mechanical or is it a little bit more on the technical side? Meaning um, you can fix a car, a lawnmower, uh, whatever, 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 some type of engine, or is it more I can get in and mess around with computer hardware and technical fixes or coding fixes? Give me more. I definitely lean towards the computer hardware side. Okay. All right. Great. But that is mechanical. Even though it's technical, it's still mechanical. Yes or no? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. So... Uh, the type of work you love to do. I mean, I want you to think of the, the actual type of work. You're going, Ken, if I did this, 80% of my day I was doing this type of work, time would zoom by. I like running wires and making them look clean. That was my first false start. Okay, now why was it a false start? Now we're on to something. Why was it a false start? Um, the prerequisites that the certification I was pursuing required had nothing to do with the actual work. And I was just pouring money into classes that didn't help me with the career that I was looking to pursue. Okay. So wait a second. The, the running wires, that type of work, it requires you to take some classes to be able to get the jobs, correct? Yeah. That's some basic certification stuff. Yeah. But you just said it had nothing to do with the career you want to do. And I don't, uh, either I'm misunderstanding, which is possible. The prerequisites well, for that certificate yeah, but didn't the, apply. But it doesn't matter. It's the prerequisite, yes or no. Yeah. I think it's stupid. I'm with you. I hate unnecessary education with a deep abiding passion. You know that about me, don't you? Oh, yeah. 
but we don't make the rules, man. So the prerequisites require you to take these classes that you're like, oh my gosh, I'd rather shut my head in an oven. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't matter. So what we got to do, man, you do what you have to do so you can do what you want to do. Am I right? Don't you tell your yeah. kids that? Yeah. Maybe your kid comes home and goes, Dad, in order for me to graduate high school, I got to do this class and this class and this class, and they have nothing to do with what I want to do when I grow up. What are you going to say to your kid? And you just got to slog through it. Oh, Jacob, you gave yourself some great advice. So, <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. I mean, I'm having fun with you, but that's the deal. You got to go back and finish those classes. And what you got to do is change your attitude. And maybe you just coach your son up in this little hypothetical and keep coaching him up and then go, ooh, that's what I need to write down and put it on my mirror, my closet wall, whatever. The bottom line is for you to run wires and the kind of wires you want to run, that's always going to be needed, wiring buildings, wiring homes, wiring whatever, and making it look neat and make it effective. And there's got some people quotient to that because you realize how you're serving and making the world run around. That's what you want to do. The minute you said that about a minute and a half ago, that that was as clear as you've been this whole call. It was no uncertainty at all. You just got to change your attitude. And you need to go back and do the prerequisites. And every time you go, oh, gosh, this is such a waste of time. You go, no, it's not. Because by getting these prerequisites now, I'm qualified to go do the work I want to do. And, oh, by the way, I'm going to be able to take care of my family as well. No more false mm -hmm. starts. Am I missing something? Tell me if I am. No. Then buckle up, buttercup. This is part of the deal. I had to do right. high school football play-by-play -play on the internet, Jacob. Do you know how many people were listening to that broadcast? A couple few. <laughs> yeah, and one was my wife. It sucked. I had to drive 90 minutes to nowhere, Georgia, to do a football game because I knew I needed to do something to stay with it. I don't want to hear about your little class that you don't like. Come on, Jacob. Am I right? You're right. Come on, man. Get back in the class. Sign up today. Get back in it. Finish it. Whatever it takes. You've got to start all over. It's your fault. But finish it out. Finish it out, Jacob. Because you're that close. 844-747-2577. 844-747. 747-2577. Hey, some of you know what you want to do and you're still feeling all the anxiety about the job search. I get it. The job search has all kinds of unknowns. Mostly, we just don't want to deal with the rejection of a no or even worse, as I've said, the crickets that we hear when we don't get any response. It's awful. It's absolutely awful. So here's the deal. I partnered with ZipRecruiter, the number one job site in the world. Their candidates are three times as likely to get hired because of the unbelievable amount of companies that are opening positions and telling them about it. They're saying, ZipRecruiter, help. The companies are paying ZipRecruiter for access to talent. That's you. So they come to the Ken Coleman Show and go, we know you got Ken. Ken, you got people that are on purpose. So their matching technology takes hold the minute you go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Ken. There's the website, ZipRecruiter.com slash Ken. It's on the screen. Go now and fill out a profile and submit. They begin to become your recruiter by pushing your profile, matching to positions that are open on their site. When a company sees the match and they're interested in you, they contact you directly. And here's the best part. It's free for you. You don't pay a dime. This is an extra, unbelievably powerful, as in the number one job site in the world resource, to your job search. I don't know why you wouldn't use them. It's free. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Ken today all right when we come back we got some great updates for people from people that are making progress we call it momentum monday and then we'll hit in the news to help you make the choice you need to make this is the ken coleman show we were drawn to christian Healthcare ministries because we both had young families and we wanted to have more children and we had also just started a real estate company and needed to find health care coverage that would meet our needs we were attracted to CHM because of its low monthly costs and the ability to negotiate medical costs down. Established in 1981 and accredited by the Better Business Bureau, CHM is here to meet the needs of your growing family or small business. Check us out at chministries.org. We absolutely believe in it. The Ken Coleman Show continues, coming to you from our Ramsey Solutions studios in Nashville. Hey, folks, we're having fun. You know why we're having fun? 
those first two calls. If anybody in the control room is a little down today, I get it. It happens. But let's not forget, there are two dudes right there who their light bulbs came on today. The light bulb's on. It's not my idea, by the way. It's not my idea at all. It was their ideas. Their light bulbs are on. They know they've got purpose. They know they've got a path. That's what this show is about. Listen, can I just tell you, in this sea of just craziness on YouTube, we are a lighthouse. Can I just say that? And by the way, this isn't some bragging thing. I'm telling you, we are a lighthouse because we're shining the light on you and turning you loose. Come on, tell people. You're not going to believe this. There's a dude on YouTube that's helping you figure out what you were born to do. And oh, by the way, it's not that stinking difficult. But when I hear people, bing, oh man, I got the juice. I got the juice. This is big time stuff. This is life changing purpose stuff. 844 747 2577. Reminder you can call me between 12 and 2 Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Let's go. Send your friends and family here. 844-747-2577. Uh, okay, let's do this, Joe. I love this. On Monday, we get uh, we get emails from you folks to ask at KenColeman.com. A lot of you will reach out on Instagram, at Ken Coleman, LinkedIn, Ken Coleman, Facebook, search the Ken Coleman Show, uh, even Twitter, at Ken Coleman. Uh, and these are updates of people making progress. We like to call it Momentum Monday. Oh, yeah, Joanna writes in, November can't get here soon enough. I got an amen and an amen and a amen, amen, amen about this. She goes, I recommend to everybody interested in Ken's new book, From Paycheck to Purpose, to take advantage of the bundles, especially the book and free resources and career assessment. I'll be taking the assessment tonight and then taking steps for my dream and purpose. All that is fun stuff, really fun stuff. Christine writes in, uh, Dear Ken, I just listened to the August 5th episode of your podcast where Amara confides in you about her debilitating ADHD. I found myself crying with gratitude as you spoke truth over her. I want to send my thanks for the courage you gave her because it spoke directly to me, especially when you encourage those with ADHD that they can and they will excel. I had no idea that you have ADHD as well. I dropped what I was doing when I heard that. If Ken can make it with ADHD, so can I. I got goosebumps all over me right now. And, of course, I'm distracted right now by my goosebumps because I have ADHD. You see how that works? Actually, more on that in just a moment. Uh, I want to thank Amara for the courage she had to reach out for help in regards to this. We need reminders that we are not our ADHD. And by the way, I can fill in the blank here. You are not your physical challenge. You are not your mental and emotional challenges. You are not those things. Those things are things you carry with you. And can I also just say, while they cause you to struggle, they eventually turn into strengths. You cannot struggle with something and overcome it and not come out on the other side stronger. It's just impossible. And she goes on to say some other nice things. So I'm not going to read all the nice compliments. So there you go. If you want to submit your momentum where you're making some progress or you're feeling the juice, ask at KenColeman.com. Uh, you can also reach out to me on Instagram at Ken Coleman. You need to follow me there as well. We're doing all kinds of great stuff over there. Uh, so I'd love to meet you and greet you and say hi to you on Instagram. Uh, really, really fun stuff. But by the way, uh, Nathan, I don't know if you even if, if you can do this, so I'll give you a few minutes to do it. But if you can get to my Instagram post uh, from last night, um, then I want to show that. If you can somehow grab that. If you can't, let me know in my ear, and we'll show it on my phone in just a few minutes. Uh, because I, I got a kind of a, a thing here uh, that I want to challenge people with. So we'll see if he can do that. If not, no big deal. But first, oh boy, we love to bring you the latest breaking news that it affects you and how it affects you let's go it's time for in the news okay cnbc uh, puts a headline out which by the way i reported on this last week uh but th this is you know this stuff cycles through the news so listen to this a reminder another 3.9 million people quit their jobs in june <laughs> i mean it's staggering now they didn't just quit and go home and play video games all right, that's not what that's not what the headline is. Uh, here's here's what's going on underneath. This is coming from the U.S. Labor Department's latest job update. Are you ready for this? 
many of the 3.9 million people who quit, they quit to something better. Woo! From paycheck to purpose, they're moving on up, and uh, they're making more money. Listen to this. Uh, The average wage growth for all workers increased just 1.5% in June compared to a year ago. Okay? But it's up by 5.8% for job switchers. So everybody else is getting the wage increase of 1.5% above what they were making last June. All right? That's what that means. However, wages went up 5.8%, nearly 6% for people who switched jobs. So people stayed in the same job. They got the 1.5% bump from last year. And this is during a pandemic. Traditionally, it's usually an average of about a 3% bump. Okay, so people who switch jobs are doubling what the normal bump, just the annual increase in pay, tends to be in the United States. Um, Employees are having to compete for talent because of our current job situation. We had 10 million jobs available, 8.4 or 8.5 million people unemployed. So we've got more jobs available than people who are unemployed. So it creates this unbelievable demand for workers. So what are they doing? Higher pay, signing bonuses, come on, better benefits, and more flexible work schedules. Let me give you that list one more time. And when you're sitting here, you're watching this, you're going, okay, why would I switch jobs right now, Ken? Well, I don't know. How about a signing bonus, maybe? How about a bump in pay, maybe? Uh, How about better benefits, maybe? And how about more flexible schedules? I Look, I'm just telling you, now's the time. This is not going to stay this way. So for all of you kind of worried about it, nervous about it, call me. We'll talk you through the, 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 the steps. It's not a jump. But now's the time. And there's still time for you to get qualified, by the way. I mean, listen, last week we had Ryan Collins in, the CEO of Bethel Tech. Look, folks, bethel.tech.net slash Ken Coleman. In nine months, online at your schedule, and for $15,000 or less if you pay cash, you can get qualified for the tech industry, which is everywhere, by the way. It's like the tech industry lives in every other industry, right? It's unbelievable. Hot, hot, hot. They have a placement rate of 80%, Ryan said. They're placing people who are getting trained. They're not just training you. They place you at a clip of 80% of people are getting jobs. By the way, uh, I got a text this morning. We have eight Ken Coleman Show viewers and listeners starting Bethel Tech next week. We are rolling towards 50 people in just a few months have signed up. Yeah, that's really awesome because the sky's the limit. We're talking about starting pay of $70,000 or higher within a year or two, making six figures in the tech industry. So there you go, folks. Now is the time. Were you able to find that pick, Nathan? If not, I know I pulled that on you. He's a world-class pro, and I can use it on my phone. Uh, We're close. He's close. All right, well, we're, we're almost done. So I'm going to just pull it up on my phone unless you want me to wait like 30 seconds. Um, but I got to show you something. People really responded on Instagram last night. And so I thought, you know what? Let's take the uh, gram to the show. All right. And uh, so let me pull this up. D- Nathan will get to it before I do. That's how slow I am on my phone, folks. Okay, here we go. Uh, you got it? Can you throw it up on the screen? He's so fast. There it is right there. Uh, look at that picture to the right. There is Ellis the Golden Doodle. And uh, can we click on that and make that? Oh, you have to sign in. Impossible. You're so good. Uh, Okay, here it is right here. So can we zoom in right here? Can we zoom in on my phone? He's going to zoom. Let's see if I can actually coordinate with Nathan. There it is. Look at that guy right there. That's my front reading room. I have a reading room. It's a library behind Ellis. And last night it was raining, and so you had the fog, and it was kind of all kinds of condensation on the glass. And I just put this out and I said, I'm reading with Ellis. And I asked two questions. Do you read on a regular basis for growth? And then what are you reading right now? So uh, here's what I want to do. I want to challenge you folks to get in a regular rhythm of reading. I read all the time. I read every night. But you need to be reading constantly, even if it's three, four pages a day. Commit to reading. And uh, go to that Instagram post. And tell me what you're reading and what you want to read more of. Because I'm thinking about doing something here. I'm thinking about a Ken's, maybe a book club, a reading list. 
in specific areas. So that's why I'm doing this. And uh, you can see an adorable pic of my uh, amazing golden doodle, Ellis. Joe, you've met Ellis, haven't you? Happiest dog. Oh, yeah. Happiest dog on the planet. Absolutely. I mean, this dog, I could wake this dog up at 2 in the morning. He's thrilled out of his mind. Tail wagging, going bananas. He thinks he's a human, by the way. Uh, he, the, the dog thinks he's a human. He sits like a human. Uh, he just, he's just fantastic. So don't we love our furry friends? So great. So love Ellis. All right. Hey, my time's almost up. But remember this. You matter and you do have what it takes. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, this is the Ken Coleman Show. Press on. <laughs>